Hi everyone, today we will continue to uh, discuss uh, topic design a solution for second part control structure selection. At the end of this topic, uh, students should be able to apply appropriate control structures. For selection, we have three types, single, dual and multiple. Okay, before we further discuss control structure selection, actually what is a control structure selection? The selection structure directs the computer. Remember, it directs the computer to make a decision based on some condition and then take an appropriate action based on the decision. Types of selection structure. The first one, if, single alternative. The second one, if else, dual alternative. And the last one, multiple alternatives. So today we will focus on if, single alternative. Uh, see what is single alternative selection or if statement. Concept of uh, single alternative selection or uh, also known as if statement requires one or more action to be taken only when its condition is to true. Remember, okay, if statement requires one, one or more action to be taken only when its condition relates to true. If condition true means perform action. Okay, so example of single alternative selection structure. The concept, if you see, if uh, it's raining, if it's raining, take an umbrella. If no uh, means need to do any action. If it's night, okay, remember the condition here. If it's night, turn your headlights on. If not, do not do nothing. If structure, okay. first we see the how you want to write for the pseudo code. Write the if, okay, bracket, put the bracket, write the condition. Okay, second line, the statement and an if. So, if you see if and an if to denote uh, the beginning and end of the selection structure. So must uh, you must compulsory to write an if. The condition, if you see the condition evaluate to true. Okay, when we check the condition, if the condition is true, okay, uh, we will perform the first statement. We will do the first statement. So if it is evaluates to true, statement is executed. See the flow chart. Uh, second, you see the flow chart. Okay, condition. If a uh, condition is true, we will do the, we will perform the action. Uh, means we will execute this statement. Okay, if condition is false, remember, if the computer check, condition false, the computer don't have any action to do. Uh, example display a message congratulation when the score is 100 first step you have to do the problem analysis still remember what is problem analysis you have to identify input uh, process and output for the input score okay if you see the for the problem statement uh, to display a message Congratulation when the score is under. So the input right here is score. Okay, for process, determine whether determine whether the score entered is hundred or not. Okay. You have to write like this for process. Output congratulation or oh, no output. So make sure. When you write a congratulation, you 
put the double quote here because this one is for display message. Okay, this one is uh, you want to display a message, you must uh, quote the double quote. Okay, this one very important for display message or no output. Second step design a solution. Okay, this one uh, we want to write the pseudo code. So uh, start with start a read score. Okay, so just now the input is score, so you just write read score. Okay, but for selection you must uh, add on if I will be represented uh, using keyword if. Okay, so you have to write if then the condition. So you put the bracket score equal to hundred. If equal to 100, display congratulation. Display congratulation and an if. Okay, if you see an if is used to indicate end of if block. Third, third, uh, draw the flow chart. So as usual, use a suitable symbol. Okay, so start, use the capsule shape. Right, start. Put, still remember, parallelogram shape, read score. Okay, this arrow must touch the symbol. Uh, condition, okay, this one, we call condition. Okay, for condition, uh, we will use a decision symbol. Uh, it's look a diamond shape. Lah. Okay, this one is diamond shape. Okay, you write your condition inside this diamond shape. So, score equal to 100. Uh, it checks a condition written inside the symbol and returns true or false. True means, okay, uh, computer display congratulation. This uh, statement, display congratulation, okay, this one is the output. Lah. Okay, this one, uh, you use um, parallelogram shape. Okay, then write the display congratulation display. Compulsory to rhyme. We have an if. Uh, if you see an if is very important because it's used to indicate end of if block. Then we have stop. Remember, read score. Okay. Computer will check condition. Lah. If the condition is true, so perform the statement. Okay, or execute this statement. It falls me. Okay, perform nothing, nothing to do. Assume that the program will accept numbers from the user and display only positive numbers. If you don't uh, have a clear idea, make sure you read again. Assume a, that a program, remember that a program will accept numbers from the user. And display only positive numbers. So first step, like, uh, problem analysis. You have to identify input, process, and output. So for the for this question, it's clear. Okay, the input are number. Okay, you write number, process, determine. Remember, determine whether the number entered is a positive or not. The output number or no output. Then we have a pseudo code. You can start with start stop or you can use another pair begin and begin with n. Okay, so start read number. Just now the input is number. Then you have to write the condition. So if bracket is a condition number. Must greater than zero because uh, uh, display only positive number. So positive number means uh, the condition must number greater than zero. Okay. So if greater than zero, display a number. Then and if okay uh, to indicate end of uh, if block. Okay, we want to terminate the selection. Then stop. Okay, then how you want to draw the flowchart? As usual, start, use this uh, 
capsule shape. So then uh, read number, uh, this one input. So draw the parallelogram shape. Remember for condition, decision symbol or diamond shape. You must use the diamond shape. Make sure uh, draw properly. Lah. Okay, diamond shape. So now just copy the condition inside the pseudocode. Just write it. In. Okay, number greater than zero. Computer check the condition by uh, written inside the symbol and written true or false. Okay, if true means display number. So this one is the uh, statement that we executed. Okay, that's the output. So uh, condition is false. Okay, computer will skip it lah or perform nothing. So we will direct to the stop. So remember, and if compulsory to write because uh, it indicates end of a block. And then we have uh, don't forget to write stop. Uh, third uh, example, a program will compute the area of circle when the radius is positive. Okay, so first step, still remember to identify uh, IPO input, process, and output. So the input. Uh, Radius. Okay, so because uh, this crystal already state, okay, will compute the area of circle when the radius is positive. Okay, so mainly this is the input. You just write the input. Second, for process, uh, you must remember you have to explain what problem to be solved. So determine whether the radius is positive or not, and calculate the area of circle. Okay, the output area of circle. Okay, to write the pseudocode, uh, still remember you have to start with start and stop, or you can use the begin and end. Either one lah. Okay, then read the input. Just now the input is radius. Just write the radius. Okay, second the condition. So if uh, bracket radius greater than zero then you indent a bit okay tap a bit area of circle equal to 3.142 multiple with radius multiple with radius okay don't write like this huh? or use uh, for multiple use this operator then after you calculate the area of circle print area of circle so it means if the condition true, we will execute the this statement, the first statement. Okay, after uh, execute the statement, okay, print area of circle and an if. Compulsory to write an if. Then you have to convert to flowchart. For draw the flowchart, as usual, use the suitable symbol. Okay, for start, use a uh, capsule shape. Then uh, for input, read radius. Okay, then this is the condition. So you have to draw the diamond shape and write the condition radius greater than zero. So if true means, uh, so this statement will be executed. Okay, so if condition is true, uh, computer will perform this action or execute this statement. Okay, after uh, execute the statement, print area of circle. Okay, this one. Output you can use the frame display, then stop in case if the condition is false. Okay, if computer will skip the process, perform nothing, then it will direct to the stop. A program will print you are handsome if the gender entered is male. So, first step. You have, to idea, uh, you have to do the IPO analysis. So, input gender. Why gender? Because if the gender entered is male, in the program will print the messages. Lah. You are handsome. So, input gender. Okay, determine whether the gender entered is male or not. So, output you are handsome or no output so for pseudocode start read gender 
Okay, if gender equal to male, bring your handsome so it's okay. in then maybe. Okay. Okay, then and if okay, compost tree to write the and if huh? so stop. Okay, then how you want to draw the flow chart? Okay, start, just copy that. Start. Okay, use the capsule shape. Then uh, and read gender. You can use the parallel linear shape. Okay. Computer read the gender. Okay. Check computer will check the condition. To perform the action. Lah. So if the gender equal to male. Okay. So example you enter male, male equal to male. So the condition is true. So perform action on the computer will execute this statement. Free you are handsome. Reminder, make sure any display message you must use double quote because this one is to display the message on the screen. Remember. Okay. So if false me, skip it. Then I will do any action.